to one of your events. I had a great time. I thought it was so cool, but I didn't really realize how different it was from boxing until I got there, right? You watch a boxing match, uh, a flyweight, or, or you know, Manny Pacquiao throw 200 punches around. This is a little different. People are sizing up, going for the kill shot. For the first time fan going to a, a, a match, walk me through some of the, the rules, nuances, things that, that you may be overlooking. So typically it's boxing without no gloves on, right? right? You got your wrist, your wrist get wrapped, uh, and then you have five two-minute rounds of bare knuckle boxing. Uh, the real significant difference with boxing is you can you can clinch, which means you can I can you know you can grab your opponent right. by the back of the neck and hold them there and just punch them in the face uh, as many times as you can. The only time the ref will break that up is if you stop punching and then there's you know just hugging going on. You know we don't we don't want two guys just hugging in the middle of the ring. We just break it up real quick and just let them get back to punching. Um, so, I mean, essentially, that's that's really the big difference from, you know, when you're talking about boxing to bare knuckle boxing is no gloves and, and you're allowed to, like, really dirty box with a gl with a clinch. Talk to me about the sixth round. So two guys can agree to fight <laughs> yeah. one more round? Are they crazy? Right. So, I mean, it's 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 pretty it's pretty cool the way it goes down. So if 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 the fight is ruled a, a draw, the... Um, the both fighters will have an opportunity to go to a six and six and final round, yeah. right? It's, it's it's almost becoming where they, they really don't have a choice, so <laughs> they're they're gonna go to a six round right. sudden death. The last time that happened was was actually in London, when uh, Mike Perry uh -huh. fought um, Michael Venom Page. So at the end of five rounds, it was a draw, and it was announced as a draw, and the crowd got kind of unruly, and you know they were pissed off and they were booing. Uh, and then the ring announcer, Jeff Houston, you know, comes on the mic and says, you know, after he announced a draw, he says, however, we will now go to a <laughs> six sudden death round yeah. to determine the winner of this competition. Right. So and the crowd the, goes crazy. Crowd, they yeah, go they bananas, you know, right. and, and as you know, the, the, the fans in London are there. I mean, those guys are they're rowdy. rowdy. Yeah, the hooligans. It's, it, 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 they're all the same way. Yeah. The women, too. Men, women, <laughs> children. It is it it pretty amazing. But yeah, so the sixth round is is pretty you know, pretty, pretty, pretty popular. Intense. Yeah. And it's awesome. So what, what's the profile of a fighter? Is it, is it a guy with a boxing background, Muay Thai, MMA? Like what, what is typical guy that signs up to fight in bare knuckle? So, you know, the sport is new, obviously, right. right? Dave, Dave was able to get, you know, his first sanctioned fight in 2018 uh, after eight years of trying and he was finally given, given the opening, you know, he was, he was convinced that it was safer than boxing and MMA. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, they'd ask him why he thought so, and he says, you know, I just know it is, right? He was, he was able to prove it eventually, but it took him some time. Um, so what you're having now is, you know, we're fighting. We're, we, it started with finding fighters just from anywhere, right? So you, know, you have a lot of MMA fighters. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of former boxers, and then you had a lot of tough guys yeah. that just, you know, the typical bar brawler <laughs> kind of guy where they come in and they're just throwing haymakers, yeah. and the technique is not really there. Right. Um, but the beauty of it is that now, you know, 2018 to 2023, we're starting 2023, so we're almost five years in, uh, the sport has changed. You know, you're seeing a lot more technique, and, and a lot of these MMA fighters have refined their skills, yeah. um, and the boxers, you know, are coming in and, and making an impact because they have, you know, they have technique. They, they move different. So When did you know you had something? You, you told me, I think, earlier, which was, Last five years, you've had forty or some some odd cards, and then on deck for the next year, you've got like fifty cards. Like, where are you at? And when did you guys go? Hey, wait a minute. There's really a business or something here. Well, I would say, I would say when the indicator that there was a business was obviously when you saw the reaction of the fans, right? I mean, casual fans, and I think you and I were talking yeah. about it. Casual fans in MMA, when you see a fight go to the floor, you get bored, right? You know, and just lose interest, right? These fights don't go to the floor. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we've had cards where there's 12 fights, there's 12 knockouts, right? You see blood, yeah. you know, you see, you know, you, you see people laying on the floor, you know, looking up at the lights, just wondering where they are. So, and, and the craziest thing, like I told you, it's, it's proven safer than MMA. It's proven safer than boxing. So, um, but I would say that really, as far as knowing when there was, when there was a business there, yeah. it was pretty much immediate, you know, just by seeing the, the, the crowd's reaction and just selling out events. I mean, we just recently had an event in New Mexico in the same exact arena that the UFC had an event two years ago. The UFC didn't sell out. You know, BKFC sold out. Wow. The same venue. So it's just, it's been so, it's been polarizing. It's been just so fast. 
Um, and like I said, you, you can have you know fans that that were MMA fans that have an appreciation for this because the reality is a good per, a good percentage of MMA fans. I hate to use the word casual, but they're more casual fans. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. They 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 come on just because you know it's a brand name, right? Right. And then you know you sit around and you watch these fights, and I mean it's gotten expensive. You know UFC pay per view now. Super expensive, seventy five yeah. bucks, hundred bucks, seventy nine ninety nine yeah. plus taxes it's and crazy. fees. It comes out to eighty something bucks, but um, a, a great model. I mean, I'm right. not, I'm not, I'm not knocking it by any means, but um, so yeah. I mean, I, I just think if you're seeing the growth, you know, but but to say when, when did I think when was the the sure tail sign of yeah. of it being a business? I think if you ask Dave, um, it was probably it was probably right out of the gate when he had his first event. Yeah, it seems like sports like are falling into categories. Like I, I'm an F1 fan, and I was asking someone who really follows me, saying, "Is F1 going to take out NASCAR? They're going to take out Indy?" And then they're like, "No, no, no. You got to think about it. Like racing fans. Yeah, you may be more of an F1 fan, but right. now you may explore NASCAR, Indy. Right. I think the same things happen in tennis, right? You have all these people playing pickleball, paddle, like right. me on the weekends, right. right? I don't care about tennis, but now I'm starting to watch tennis because, right. like, what's the best? And you sort of follow. I think a little bit with. With combat sports in general, right? Like I still follow boxing, MMA, but then now I'm starting to follow yours, and it's just kind of like this I'll, I'll, I'll weird tell mix you, of just great fighting. I'll tell you something crazy that just happened to me recently. I'm I'm an avid MMA fan. Right, right, right. right. I, I mean, we, we, know. We, know, we know this. I just I was in New Mexico, at BKFC yeah. uh, Knucklemania Three, right? right? So that's the one that it was uh, another sold out crowd, as is pretty much every event, every BKFC event is being sold out. Um, but I got home. Uh, Saturday, and I had some stuff to do Saturday, so uh, not much there. But Sunday, there was nothing on TV, and I hadn't watched the UFC from Saturday night, right? So by the time I got home, it was over. Yeah. So I was lying on the couch, and I put on the UFC, all right? And I'm, I'm just telling you this from my point of view, right. and I'm not a casual fan by any means. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was a little bit bored watching watching the UFC event. You know, I, was, I, I caught myself... Like not really paying attention half the time, uh -huh. you know. And, and when you're talking about BKFC, you're sitting there and you, just, you have to you pay have attention. to pay attention because yeah, it, it could end that quick, right? Yeah, so, that was my takeaway from it. I was yeah. like, wait, and there's guys sizing up, and it's almost like a chess match in that uh, you want to save your hands, right? A because the, because you can right. break your you hand, pick your, you got to pick you, your shots. You yeah. got to pick your shots, and if you overshoot, you oh, open yeah. yourself up. I mean, just it, it, you 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 gotta you gotta definitely be precise. Right. And you gotta land your punches right. And I think you and I were talking about it before. Yeah. With bare knuckle, you could sit right now, and I can have you punch the wall right. a bunch of times, and, and punch it pretty hard, and you'll feel it, but it's not going to hurt you, right. right? You, you miss that punch a little bit, and you're going to feel it, right? right? Right. And same thing on a face, you know. Now on a face, it's not a flat surface. You right. know, you got a nose, you got, you know, you got the side of the head, you got the chin. Yeah. If you land it flush, you're good. But the majority of these guys are ending up, you know, they they have a little bit of they come out sore in their hands, yeah. right? Some of them come out with a lot of damage on their face. You know, so the fighters that come through, like, I don't, I, I don't know if you know Luis Baboon Palomino. Yeah. He's the tougher, you know, pound-for-pound yeah. pound best fighter in BKFC in the history of the sport. He's a big face for the promotion. You know, if you look at him come out of his fights, he usually does not have any damage on his face. Now, his hands get a little bit banged up because <laughs> right. he lands a lot of punches. Yeah. But he just has real good boxing, real good head movement, so he doesn't get hit a lot. But, you know, you look at him, and you look at his face, like, doesn't look like he got in a fight. You look at his hands, and you can tell he got in it's a fight. It's a mess, right. Yeah. And... You know, like I tell people, I said, and I think we were talking about yeah. this uh, while we're having lunch, um, and it, it comes down to something real simple, right? And and the sport of bare knuckle. If you if you're talking about bare knuckle and MMA, mm -hmm. right? And MMA, if we ask, if we pull ten people right. that actually watch MMA, maybe don't even watch MMA, but they know what MMA is, UFC is. You ask them what what a Kimura is, they're not gonna know. You know, right. it's a submission, right. right? You ask them what a punch in the face is, and and they'll know, they'll right? know in two seconds, right? So they can relate to it. You know, yeah. pretty much everybody that you know has been into a fight at some point in their life, whether they were in third grade or they were in, you know, high school, yeah. right? And, and like I tell everybody, I said, if, if even with wrestling, you know, I wrestled. If, if in wrestling, you and I were going to have a wrestling yeah. match, uh, you know, hey, Danny and Serge are wrestling today after, right. after school, you know, as part of the school's wrestling team, not too many people are going to come. Right. You tell them Danny and Serge are going to go fight at Tropical Park. Everyone's going to go watch. Everybody's coming. People yeah. from other schools are coming, right? right? It's just, <laughs> right. And they don't even have to know you. And they don't even have to know you, but right. they just want to see somebody get beat up, right? right? So, you know, that's that's the beauty of what of what bare knuckle boxing is, right? And that's why it's growing so fast. And and it is the fastest growing sport. It's the fastest growing combat sport. Yeah, right it's now. it's crazy. So <laughs> Thank you.